Today I just want to talk about um, sustainability very quickly. So first of all, what is sustainability? Well, it's the capacity of a system to remain productive over a long period of time. Mm, and of course, this is a huge theme and, and can be applied to many different fields. Uh, either it's economics, psychology, uh, biology or whatever. But of course, the one that I'm interested in is more related to a physical practice. Um, I can feel in most of the communities that I've looked into, either it was parkour, strength training, martial arts, uh, hand balancing and so on, um, it is somehow of an hidden topic and even if we had long conversations about this, then the outcomes of the conversation were not really uh, being applied. Um, I don't really know why, but uh, nobody really wants to. Um, it's it's as if conscious choices were overridden by uh, ritualistic practices uh, many times. So the reason to do something is just because it has always been done in a certain way, uh, because it's right and because that, that's the way you do it. And I really f believe that we should challenge this uh, approach in ev everything that we do. Mm, it would be a little bit like uh, in my bloodline, in my family, for generations we have always been eating five aliments and that's all we, we have been eating. That's everything we, we, I will ever eat in my life. And of course this will make me sick and uh, will, uh, of course it will not be healthy for me, but I will do it anyway because that's the way you do it, that's the tradition. And I really don't, I, I really believe this is a stupid approach. And with this it's obvious, but with many practices it is not. Um, choosing a practice that is not diverse, uh, it is like this. Um, it would be hitting really the, the crack over and over again in the, in the house until, um, until the house eventually one day will come down and uh, it will be like, oh, why did it come down? Of course, it, it was written all over your life. Um, overuse injuries will come and motivation will fade and I saw this happening many times. So when you see me going through all my researches in this period and travels and this is what, it, what is happening, I'm trying to sustain and to push, push forward my practice. Mm, I, I've recently uh, heard people call me, you know, the, the flow guy on the bars or the hand balancer and parkour guy, da, 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 and all these labels that I really don't believe uh, they are appropriate because they miss the point completely. I'm setting goals and getting there to make sure I'm always fully committed in what I'm doing. I'm appreciating the practice over the content. I'm pushing it forward and I'm choosing a variety and diversity over a, over a mono theme. Mm, I'm experimenting in, in the random and the, the exploration of the new uh, to be able to throw myself in places, mm, dark places, I don't fully understand and sometimes I come out with a different understanding, some, some I with, sometimes with a different knowledge, sometimes with different processes, but anyway something is happening on the other side of the river uh, and this is keeping my uh, motivation alive and running all the time. So w one thing I always remind to people is do you get the call anymore, the, uh, the call the, to, to try things new, to play, to experiment, because if this is not happening, this is just the beginning of the end 